Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Sunrise Bracelet. This design was made by Valacrafts on Instagram and on YouTube, and it was a winning entry for our Hybrid Theory contest, which we feature every month. As you can see, face forward, there's this cross that you can see. On the other side, you don't really see that cross, but the cross comes from this cross top switch, which was also created by Valid Crafts. So I think it's a flawless design. Probably say it's one of my favorite thinner designs. And it's made on just two pegs. So you can make it on the Monster Tail and the Rainbow Loom. And without wasting your time any further, Let's get started. To make the sunrise, you can use the rainbow loom or the monster tail. For this tutorial, I'll be using the monster tail. Just use any two pegs that are opposite each other. If not, on the rainbow loom, you can just use these two pegs. But at this point, I'm going to pick my colors. And to make it easier, I'm just going to use this template right here. And I'm going to fill it out. So I will be using Mother of Pearl, Rainbow, Mother of Pearl, and Rainbow. Okay. You can download this template at justinstoys.com to make it easier. So, for this tutorial, we'll be making this bracelet right here. As you can see, it's mother of pearl in the center, and on the sides we have rainbows that are crossed. So, the first thing you want to do is grab three of your center color bands, mother of pearl for me, and grab the first band and place it triple capped on this peg. We'll be using these two pegs right here. If you don't know how to triple cap, just take the band, place it over, twist it, creating this cross and then this loop right here. You want to bring this loop up and over. Okay. Once you have it up and over, hold on to it, pull it, cross it again, creating another cross and then another loop and bring it through the loop and push it over. So that is a triple cap band. And you want to put a double cap band on the opposite peg. So that's just one twist and then bring this loop over. Okay. Now that you have the double cap band over, you want to take your hook and you want to pull the two ends up and over to the other peg. So it's basically like a double cap band on top of these two pegs. Whatever is easier. Next, you want to grab another center color band and just place it on top of the two pegs normally, right? So triple capped, double capped across both, and then regular on top. Now you want to grab your hook and grab all three ends of that triple cap band and bring it up and over. All right, very careful. Make sure that you don't accidentally grab any other bands. So, now the triple cap band is in the center. Now we're just going to push down so we can make space for our next band. All right? Now you want to grab your first side color. Mine is rainbow, so I'm grabbing a red and I'm placing on top of both of these pegs normally. And now I want to use my hook and grab both ends of that cap band. So you'll see these two are a little bit thinner. These are both the same ends of that cap band. And you're going to bring this up and over. And do the same exact thing on the other side. Grab both ends of that cap band. Bring it up and over. Okay. And now we are going to grab our next two colors. First being the center color. Mine is Mother of Pearl. Let's push down. 
place it on top normally, push down slightly, and grab my next color, which is rainbow, or the outside color, and place it on top normally as well. Okay? Now we can refer back to our chart or sequence right here. And at this moment, we are doing step number D, cross switch top. And cross switch top is a stitch that was made by Vala Crafts, who also made this design. And it's a little tricky at first, but once you do it, you'll get the hang of it and it'll be just as easy as every other stitch you've done. So, in order to do the cross switch top, you want to take your hook and you want to grab both of the bands that are the lowest, so these two, and bring them up and over to the center. But you always want to remember which one was closest to the center, so over here, the red is closest to the center. This first set might twist up a little bit. Just remember the red's supposed to be closer to the center. Do the same thing on the other side. Grab both of those bottom bands, bring them up and over. And again, the red is supposed to be closer to the center. All right, so this is where the switching begins. You wanna get under the third band from the left. It's mother of pearl, red, red, mother of pearl. So the third band is going to be this red. Always start on this side. So make sure that the arrow or this red dot is over here. I'm starting from third over here. Get under it. And just under that single band. And grab that leftmost mother of pearl. And only that mother of pearl. Okay. Once you have just the Mother of Pearl, we're going to bring it through and under that red and then bring this end back on top over here. Okay? If you did it right, there should be two bands left, a red and a Mother of Pearl. Again, you want to go under the red by itself. And then grab that mother of pearl right there and bring this mother of pearl up into this peg. Okay, so we just did the cross switch top loop. Right now, we are going back to our sequence. We are at A. So, next band we're placing on top is going to be a mother of pearl. I'm going to push down slightly, place a mother of pearl on top, and now it is going to be a middle top. So middle top is basically the third band from the bottom just bring up normally. So one, two, three, that is third band, just bring it up top, do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, bring this up top, okay, push down slightly, next is going to be a rainbow cross switch top, so next rainbow is going to be an orange, and again, make sure the red dot is on the left, bring up the bottom two bands up to the center, bring up the bottom two on the other side. Remember the rainbow is always supposed to be closer to the center. Okay, as you can see they kind of switched up here. But again, starting with the dot on the right, we're going to get under the third band, which is this pink. Grab that first band, which is the mother of pearl. Bring it through under that pink and bring this over this peg. Okay, and over here we're going to go under this remaining pink and grab that mother of pearl, bring it down and up over this peg. Alright, 
and we're going to push down and then we're going to do step number C which is mother of pearl and middle top so mother of pearl on top okay middle top which is third band one two three bring it up and over turn it around one two three up and over push down and next is rainbow which is going to be neon orange on top then cross switch top so bottom two up into the center bottom two up into the center and again do the cross under the third grab that leftmost pull it through and bring it down again the red dot is over here so I want that way under this orange grab that mother of pearl bring it up and over and push down and next is going to be mother of pearl okay so it's basically that sequence over and over again mother of pearl middle top third from the bottom up one two third from the bottom up push down next rainbow which is going to be yellow cross switch top which is the bottom two bring it up bottom two bring it up and get in front make sure the dot is on the left we're starting over here get under this neon orange grab the mother of pearl on the left and bring it through and bring it down okay get under this neon orange that's left grab the mother of pearl Bring it down and up, push down, the mother of pearl goes on top, and it's middle top, so one, two, three, bring it up, other side, one, two, three, bring it up, push down, and I'm just going to continue the sequence. So I'm going to go a little bit faster. We'll do this about five more times before I just fade to the end for clipping. Third band, get under, grab that leftmost, make sure the dot's on the left. Bring it through. Bring this down. Under, grab that mother of pearl, bring it down and up, push down, mother of pearl, middle top, which is third, up, third, up, push down, next is going to be lime green over cross switch top grab those bottom two bring it up grab those bottom two and bring it up get under the third grab that leftmost mother of pearl bring it under and bring this back on top of the original peg get under the neon green, 
Grab the mother of pearl, bring it down, and back up. And push down. Put a mother of pearl on top. Middle top. Bring it up. Middle top. Bring it up. Push down. Next color. Teal. Cross switch top. Bottom two. Up. Bottom two. Up. Get under the line. Grab that leftmost mother of pearl. Bring it through. And bring this back down. Get under this line. Grab the mother of pearl. Bring it down and bring it up. Okay. And now I'm just going to continue another four sequences without commentary. So, as you can see, it's starting to develop. Nice cross on the side. Mother of Pearl down the center. And I'm just going to fade to the end when this bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm at the point where this bracelet is long enough to fit around my wrist. I'm just going to do one more sequence before I start clipping. So Mother of Pearl on top. It's a middle top, so third band from the bottom. One, two, three. Bring it up. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three. Bring it up. Push down. Next rainbow, which is going to be orange. Place it over both. Then cross switch top. Grab those two bottom bands. Bring them up into the center. Same on the other side. Two bottom bands up into the center. And now you want to get under the third band, which is this pink and grab that leftmost band mother of pearl bring the mother of pearl under the pink and bring this down get under this remaining pink on top grab the mother of pearl bring it down and back up okay so at this point is where it switches up a little bit I'm just going to push down and now I'm going to place a capped mother of pearl on top of these two pegs. I'm just going to place a capped one. Oh, there's a dud. Capped here. And use the hook to bring these two ends onto the other side. So. Just this cat band on top. And we're just going to do the same exact thing that we were going to do. This would be a middle top. So one, two, three. Bring this up. And over here. One, two, three. 
Bring this up. And push down. And what we're going to do before is what we're still going to do. Next rainbow, which is neon orange. And cross switch top. So bring those bottom two up. Bring these bottom two up. Get under that third band. Bring this leftmost mother of pearl down and bring this over. And then get under this remaining orange. Curve that mother of pearl, bring it down and over. Okay. And now you want to do a inverted stitch. So you want to get in front of that center band, grab that bottom two cap band and bring it up very carefully and over and let it go. Do the same exact thing on the other side, invert it. Get in front of just that center band, which is this neon orange. Grab those bottom two ends of that cat band and bring it up and over. And now you just want to bring these two ends up to this peg so that all ends are on one peg. And we're going to do that by grabbing them with the hook facing down and pulling this off and bringing these two ends up and over and let it go. All right. And now you can grab a C clip and grab all four of those ends. So I'm going to face it this way, have the C clip with the groove on the bottom, go about halfway in and just push down. see I have all four ends so I'm just gonna pull this off point just tug on it and there you go it looks a little sloppy but all you have to do is tug on it really hard and then it'll neatly straighten itself out Right. Now you want to grab the C clipped end and just clip the three ends of that triple cap band that we started with. I'm just going to reapply these back onto the loom to make it easier. So those are the three ends. Place it over this peg. Make sure this wraps around itself straight. And then clip these three ends right here Pull it off. and there you have it that is the completed sunrise bracelet designed by Vala Crafts All right this is Rob from Justin's Toys I hope you enjoy this tutorial and special thanks to Vala Crafts for designing this bracelet. As you can see, it's flawless. And if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and happy looming.